Um, hi. Hello guys, I had no plans to do this, but I am at my office and I'm on a little walk and I'm like, I have some plans today and I haven't vlogged in a hot minute, so why don't we do that? I'm at work right now and we have half day Friday, so I'm gonna be leaving in the next hour or so, but I plan today to go ice skating because I felt like it. I haven't been in a while and I love to go. So I'm gonna do that, but then afterwards, right next to the place that I like to go ice skating, there is a half price books, which if you guys are not familiar, that is this bookstore in Texas that uh, sells half price books. Basically you can go there and you can sell your used books and they resell them. They're about half price and it's a really fun time. I feel like I, a lot of the times I don't even end up buying anything there. I just love to look around cause there's so much, so many options. And I love to look at books that have been like well loved, you know, like when they have highlights in them already, like it's just kind of a fun experience, but I have so many books that I'm gonna sell today. I finally last night at like midnight just had the urge to declutter like all of my bookshelves and I honestly should have filmed it, but it was just spur of the moment. I had literally just gotten out of the shower and I'm like, I need to get rid of some of this. Like some of these books, I just know I'm not gonna reread again. So there's no need to keep them on my shelf. Let me go sell them, get a little bit of money. I almost slipped and fell. That would have been fun on camera. Um, get a little money and buy some more books. Like the circle of life, you know? So. I will probably, before I go into the bookstore, I'll probably show you the books I'm decluttering. I feel like it might be a bit of a hot take. Some of you might hate me, but there's literally no need to keep a book on my shelf if I'm not gonna reread it. So yeah, it's really humid outside. My hair is growing by the second. So I'm gonna go, but I'll check in with you guys once I leave work. Okay guys, I'm off work. I'm at the ice skating place. It is a dreary day in Texas today. Um, I hate days like this. I love when it rains so much. Like that is my happy place, my comfort zone. But when it's like in between like this, it just makes me want to go to sleep. <laughs> like lay on the couch all day and be super lazy. And I just feel kind of out of it, but we're going to turn that around because we're going ice skating. It's going to be a great time. And um, yeah, <laughs> let's go. profusely sweating can you like see it's like dripping into my eyeballs um my hair I do this every time I'm like oh wear a jacket it's cold in there like wear your hair down it'll be a cute moment and then I sweat so much skating is so weird because it's like it's not it doesn't feel difficult like I don't feel like I'm exerting a lot of energy but then I sweat like way more than I ever do if I like go on a jog or something which I don't do that often but just saying Anyways, my hair, it's like I stuck my finger in a light socket. It's so frizzy. Um, I'm gonna try to set up my phone right now and do a little book unhaul. I have all my books right there. I don't know if you can see that. All my books that I'm gonna be selling and there's a lot. So I'm gonna try to like rapid fire go through them with you guys real quick before I go to half price books. So let's do that. <laughs> okay guys, hello. I'm gonna try to yell a little bit so you can hear me. Um, this is our giant bag full of books that we're gonna sell. Um, rapid fire, I said, but we're gonna see how that goes. Um, oh, this is a controversial one to start out with. Okay, um, my sunglasses are up there. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Look, Taylor Jenkins Reid, I love you with my whole heart and soul. I know this is a lot of people's favorite book of all time. I really liked it, but I just know I'm not gonna read it again. Therefore, I'm gonna get some money for it so I could buy more of her books. Um, Serenading Heartbreak by Ella Fields, the same thing. Really loved this book, but like, it physically hurt me, so I don't, I don't know that I want to reread it. Legend Born. To be quite honest, I bought this book well over a year ago, and I just, I never read it. I don't know why I bought it, because I just don't think I'm going to like it. I don't think I'm going to be into it, and I've just heard from what I've heard from my trusted friends. I don't think it's going to be for me. So, <laughs> such a waste. But I just, I'm going to sell it. Um, okay, I'm selling one of my sets of the Crave books because I have two. In fact, I don't know where the other one is right now, but um, Entangled Teen sent me 
a set of them and I just don't have room on my bookshelves for two sets of them. So those are gonna go. Um, the Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This is like the entire series in one book. It's just, I've heard good things, but it's just, it's a YA book. This is really old. My sister had this in her room and she gave it to me. If I read it, I'll get the pretty individual copies and try it out. But I just, I'm tired of looking at that on my shelf, honestly. The X-Hex and Witch Please, two witchy rom-coms I got for October last year. This was the worst book I read of 2021. And this one was fine, but I, I don't need to reread it. So selling it. The Kiss Quotient by Helen, Helen Huang. I, I personally just didn't love that book. Uh, Dipped in Holly, Dana Azali, good spicy Christmassy novella, but uh, read it once, don't need to read it again. Okay, this is very scandalous. It's very scandalous. Um, you guys know I love Emily Henry with my entire heart and soul. People We Meet on Vacation is one of my favorite books ever. Her new book, I'm so excited for, I can't even explain, but this just didn't quite do it for me and it's taking up valuable space on my rom-com shelf, so. I'm gonna get some coin for it. Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey, same thing, love her to death. Didn't love this book enough that I will reread it. Uh, Touch of Darkness and A Touch of Ruin by Scarlett St. Clair. Read the first one, it was fine. Um, just don't really care that much to read the second one. I bought it before I finished this and they've been sitting on my shelf forever and I just don't think I'm gonna read it. So getting rid of it. Ugh, don't cancel me, Song of Achilles. Um, I have a review for this coming out. It just wasn't for me. I simply wasn't cultured enough to enjoy this book. I just thought it was so boring and I, I hate myself for it. Uh, this is a book I got sent by some PR thing. I can't remember it. I just, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> That's the only explanation I have. Here was the other Crave book. This, I don't know, Shell Bliss merger. I got this in like a blind book thing. Uh, Diary of an Oxygen Thief. I attempted to read this. It was just no. <laughs> Simply no. I didn't like it. Okay, I have some classics here. Pride and Prejudice and Wuthering Heights. This is my copy from high school. I I'm just never going to reread it. Pride and Prejudice, I'm dying to read because I never have read it. But let's be honest, I'm not going to read this janky ass cover of it. Like, I want to get a pretty copy. And I'm pretty sure I got this from Half Price Books originally. So, I'm just going to buy another one. <laughs> Renegades by Melissa Marissa Meyer. Sorry, um, I tried to I tried to read this. I tried to start it. I didn't like it. It was third person. I felt like the story was pretty obvious, and it just the sci-fi. I don't I don't know. I just I tried, but it just wasn't for me. I couldn't get into it. <sighs> don't cancel me. Actually, cancel me. It's fine. The Fine Print by uh, Lauren Asher. I had to think about that for a second. I didn't like this book. I know it's like one of the most popular books right now. I know the new book out everyone loves, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't with the story. I couldn't with the characters. I couldn't with the dialogue. I didn't love that book at all. So selling it, um, Fahrenheit 451, another just one from high school that I'm not gonna reread. One Day in December by Josie Silver. I tried to read this in December and I couldn't get into it. I felt like it just the entire premise of the story that was interesting was something that we found out right away and it was on the back of the book and I just, I, I don't know. Couldn't get into it, didn't feel it, over it. Um, Shadow, oh wait, sorry. Ember of Night and Shadow of Light. I read Ember of Night, um, started out really well, didn't end well by the time it finished I was annoyed um Entangled Teen sent me the second copy thank you so much but I'm I'm not gonna read it <laughs> so selling it now there's people in the parking lot that are watching me do this but it's fine um and then lastly we have the Atlas 6 I have a very long rant video on my channel about this book and how much I wanted to love it but how flat it fell for me and lastly we have the cheat sheet by Sarah Adams a lot of people like this book. It just, uh, it was fine. It was a friends to lovers. And I just, I don't know. I just thought it was okay. Again, I won't reread it. That's it. That's a lot of books. This was a very long clip. Let me do a little pan. Um, yeah. So hopefully I get a little money for these and we can buy some more books at half price books. Now I get to repack all of these in this bag. So I'm going to do that now. And then I will see you at the bookstore.
this mini book haul. I spent so much time in there as I always do. It's weird. I love that store. I feel like I don't find things in there half the time because there's just so much and it's overwhelming and there's a lot of really random stuff. You kind of have to like dig to find treasure there. But I just like being there. I feel like it's like my people and it's a comfy place and I don't know. I just love going. I only go like every few months or so. But anyways, I traded my like 30 something books for four new ones. I got $61 which is freaking awesome. I mean, I'm not gonna do the math of how much per book that is, but they were literally just cluttering up my shelves and it's free money. Not really, cause I bought the books, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I spent like about a little less than half buying four new books and then I got to pocket $30. So I'm gonna go get a boba tea in a second, but I just wanted to go through what I got with you guys. First of all, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. John Green wrote my favorite book of all time, The Fault in Our Stars, and I have not read the rest of his books. I've read Looking for Alaska, but that's the only other book of his that I've actually finished. I started Paper Towns at some point. Can't remember what happened with that, but gonna read this for sure at some point. This one I was so excited when I came across because I saw this a long time ago. I don't remember why. I don't know if I got an ad for it. It was like a TikTok, but I think this book just came out. It's called How to... I don't know if it's actually how to love your neighbor or how to hate your neighbor because it has the hate crossed out and then it says love and it says both of them on both. So I don't know which it is. Let's go with how to love your neighbor. This sounded so interesting to me the first time that I saw it just right up my alley. I think it's about this girl that decides she's gonna like start flipping houses. So she gets this little house in this beach town and her next door neighbor ends up being this like real estate guy that wants to buy up all these houses and like develop all this land and stuff and so basically right after she moves in she's trying to like remodel her cute little house and he just wants to like buy it from her and like knock it down I guess so I think it's like an enemies to lovers forced proximity sort of thing it says they get in like a feud with one another and they live next door to each other drive each other crazy obviously it's gonna lead to some spicy tension I hope I don't know. The concept just sounds really good to me. Totally up my alley. Cutesy little cover. We love that. Um, the next book <laughs> that I got, y'all, I'm on such a freaking Bridgerton kick right now. I saw this and I've seen this book or at least this author before because I definitely recognized it. A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. It's a historical romance about this lady that's an author back in the Victorian England times and she writes about murder and it's very scandalous and she ends up having an entanglement with like a police officer I believe so I read the first page or two when I was in there and it sounded really good so I'm going to check that out eventually I have to finish Bridgerton first this last one I always try when I go to half price books to buy a book I've never like seen before or never heard of and this one caught my eye because it just I don't know. It looked interesting. It's called Monsters, a love story. Uh, so right away I was like, enemies to lovers. Because you know we love that. And I read the back and I read the first page or two and it sounds interesting. So it sounds like it's about this lady that writes a feminist version of Frankenstein. I don't really know what that entails, but I guess this Hollywood star gets word of her feminist take on Frankenstein and thinks it's genius and like wants to make it into a movie. And so I guess he like tracks her down and is like begging her for the film rights or something so they end up like having to work together and it sounds very enemies to lovers it says fueled by desire love grief and expertly poured cocktails um blah 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 blah, blah. so it sounds good i'm intrigued i thought the cover was interesting never heard of it at all so i will let you know how i feel about it but those are the four little books i got i'm gonna go home now it's been a very eventful afternoon, but I'm gonna get a boba tea and then I'm gonna go home and I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, I am home. I rinsed off. I'm in my comfy clothes. I'm in my happy place. I am pretty much gonna spend the rest of the night. I'm in the middle of three different books right now. I'm off the rails. I don't know what's been happening to me. I used to never read more than one book at once, but the last few months I am never reading less than three books. And I, it's kind of fun in a way, but it's also, I don't know. Um, I'm in the middle of reading the second book in the Bridgerton series, The Viscount Who Loved Me. I'm doing a reading vlog of this, so I already have the vlog of the first book up on my channel. If you're interested, this one will be up soon because I'm going to fly through it. I'm also in the middle of Falling Away, which is the third book in the Fall Away series by Penelope Douglas. I'm also in the middle of 
it's on my Kindle, Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. Um, sorry, I'm not gonna walk across the room to get that, but it's this book. Everyone's been talking about it. Everyone's been reading it. Um, so I'm pretty much gonna alternate between those three books the rest of the night. And then I also have some work I have to get done. I just wanted to say, I know so many of you guys have been asking for updates on my book, When Fate Breaks. I give a lot more frequent updates of that on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, link in description. But I do want to say that next week I do have a video coming out that you're not going to want to miss. If you're interested in my book, I'm going to be telling you all the details you want to know. Might be revealing the cover. I've already said on my Instagram that the release date is May 25th, which is going to be here so soon. But if you stayed until the end of this video, there's your special little treat and your little teaser. That's coming next week, so be on the lookout. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I wanna be able to go ahead and edit it tonight and get it up for you guys probably tomorrow. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for spending my Friday with me going on this little adventure. It was a good time and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.